sisters. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's let's unmute our mics and just as sister said, let's practice praising and thanking the Lord. So let's just do it. Uh, you know, in our homes, let's not be shy and give the glory to God because He is important at this very moment. Nobody else, even our spouses, our children, nobody is important. Only He, only He alone is worthy of praise and glory and honor. So let's just unmute and if possible, just raise our hands and just praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the celebration. Whenever we come to praise and worship the Lord, we have to come with a joyful heart. Now, I would like to share a small testimony before we begin this praise and worship. You know, our God is a faithful God, a God of surprises. And sometime back, there was a family who had some, uh, uh, you know, dispute uh, in their house. Actually, the, the family was not in talking terms. They were staying in the same house, but, but the, uh, the son and uh, the daughter-in-law was not properly in talking terms with, with the in-laws, you know. So imagine they're staying in one same house and not talking and, you know, uh, all negative things are happening, uh, you know. And then uh, I, I was uh, asked to just talk to them, you know. And I just said one thing. I said, you know, whenever you have a situation like this, just start praying the rosary, you know, and uh, they started praying the rosary. Actually, what was happening was the, this entire family was saying rosary in, in two different rooms. You see, the, the, uh, the son and the daughter-in-law was saying in another room and, and uh, the father and the mother were saying the rosary in another room, you know. So I said, just come together as one family because as rosary, we need to say together, come together and start saying the rosary. And I, you won't believe, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, just within a week, the next week I called them and says, everything is healed, <coughs> everything is solved within us. Now we are enjoying saying the rosary and we are once again together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's the, power of, the power of prayer and the intercession, Amen. powerful intercession of Mama Mary. When you say the rosary, she comes in your home, you know, and the devil doesn't have a chance. He, he just runs away and all that misunderstanding and confusion, ego, pride, everything that runs away with him and, and then humility and, and love and peace uh, comes into that place, you know. So it's very important that we, we say the rosary and uh, whenever possible in our homes, in our families, to say the daily rosary. And uh, uh, the, it's a very powerful prayer of intercession. Uh, so, you know, the, the word of God in Isaiah 54 verse 22 says, look to me and be saved. You know, uh, in this world, a lot of people are looking for, you know, different methods of salvation. Some people go on the mountain, some people fast and a lot of things they do. Okay. But here the Lord is just saying simple things. The, the psalmist is saying, just look to me, just look to me and be saved. That's all my dear brothers and sisters we need to do. Psalm 54 Verse 22. I just heard this last week, you know, I was listening to something and then he made it, he says, our, our, our religion, our, our relationship is not very complex. It's very simple. It's just that you need to look to him at the cross and you will receive your salvation. You don't have to do a lot of things, a lot of activities and, you know, fast and pray and, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of penance and all that. No, God is just asking a simple thing. Just look to me. Just look to me at the cross and you will receive your salvation. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us focus ourselves uh, today at, at the cross. You know, the cross is behind me. If you can see, I put that. 
and you just look up to him okay and receive the salvation receive his blessings his graces so even as we begin uh, this first hymn i am a new creation i want to also you know share something that you are precious in the sight of god you are very precious you know i wanted to make this make you understand this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this thing uh, from the scripture so you know how the holy spirit inspired me you know supposing you buy a pet you know we all have pets in our house some people have you know not all of us but some of us have pet maybe they have a dog or a cat or a or a bird or something supposing you buy that pet for the 100000 dirhams okay it's a big money okay i'm telling you it's a very precious precious pet you buy okay so what will happen when you bring that precious pet in your house your mind will be totally focused on the pet yeah you will see that the pet is eating the right food he is uh, he is not going out of the house you will put all protective measures so that he doesn't run away or doesn't fly away and you you fence it and you you see that he is giving he doesn't fall ill or anything like that you know so the person the owner and and the family members will keep a watch over that pet all the time even if they are sleeping in the night and something noises that they will get up and see where their pet is around why because they have a paid a very high price for that pet yeah it is precious okay say 100000 is a big money so that precious price that they have paid for that pet so they are always watching even they at work or somewhere their mind is always on that it is something like that you know you have a, buy a very precious car a very expensive car your mind is always on that the same thing we apply jesus he, he we are precious to him because he paid a very heavy price he paid a very heavy price by his blood on the cross and because of that he can never allow us to go astray he can never allow just imagine a pet we cannot allow it to go astray how much more jesus will be watching over us at all time because he has paid with his blood he has paid with his blood and he knows the pain and agony has gone through for you so he will never allow the devil to take you away from his presence he will put his guards he will put his uh, protection and who are his guards and protection the angels the archangels all these people are put around us for our protection so that we don't go astray we don't run away from or go outside you know and be uh, hit by the devil so he has done that and because we are precious he has paid a very big price not in money but by his own very life by his precious blood so my dear brothers and sisters let's with this background in mind you know that you have to just to look to him and you will receive that salvation your mercy your mercy will flow your sins will be forgiven just need to look at that cross and remember that you are very precious more than thousands and millions and millions of dirhams you are precious and that is the beauty he loves you so much that he will never allow even his eye you know eyes to move away from you he is right now watching you whatever situation you are going through he is watching right now at your situation and he is working in your life because you are precious so let's take this beautiful time of praise and worship and just enter in his presence by this beautiful hymn i am a new creation i am No more in condemnation. Here in the grace of God, I stand. Let's clap. Let's smile. My heart is overflowing. My love just keeps on growing. Here in the grace of God, I stand. And I will praise you, Lord. Yes, I will.
praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Worthy of all praise. You are the King of Thank glory. You, you are the praise Lord of Lord. Lord. You are the great and mighty Lord. God, Lord. Lord. You are a deliverer, Lord. You are a focus and a strength, Lord. Praise praise Unlike you, Jesus. Lord. Praise, Lord. praise Lord. you. We bless you from the bottom of our hearts, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we want to just thank and praise you, Lord, for every blessing that has shower about each one of us, Lord. You have made a, made us a new creation, Lord. And we are thankful for that, Lord. You have given you have removed everything that is not of your kingdom from our life, Lord. And we just want to continue praising you and worshiping you during this time. My dear brothers and sisters. I was listening to one testimony. You all know KFC, right? We all know KFC. Okay. So the, the owner of KFC, he, he's, uh, he's from US by the name of Colonel Sanders. Okay. And he was uh, giving his uh, testimony. He came to the Lord in the year uh, when he was 77 years old. Okay. Before that, he did not know about God. He, he, he was a Christian, but he, he did not have a personal encounter with God. And only at the age of 77, he came to know God. And when he was giving this testimony, he was 89 years old. And he, he said one beautiful thing, which I, I love to share. He says, no use being a richest man in the cemetery, as you cannot do any business there. So give your money to charity before that. You know, you, you, you may think that, oh, I have a lot of money no use of that money in your cemetery, right? You cannot do any business there. That's the end, okay? So before that, before that, start giving in charity, start helping people. He realized that and I, I, after the age of 77, he said, thank God I, I lived to 77. Many people die in the age of 60 and 50. He says, thank God that God was patient with me and the age of 77, I came to know the Lord and now I'm 89, I'm doing a lot of things in charity and God by his grace is helping me. So it's so beautiful, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, that all this money, riches and everything will go down in the grave. We cannot do anything, you know. Before that, this is the season of grace where the church is asking us to give arms. So let's do our bit, whatever we can do as we sing this next hymn, my life is in you, Lord. And just give, the, give your life to the Lord. Let him take control and let him work through your life.
Yes, Lord, my life is in you. My strength is in you. My hope is in you, Lord. My hope, Lord, is in you. And Lord, I, at this very moment, I come into your presence, Lord. For the times when I have failed you, when I have turned away from you, Lord. You know that I am precious in your sight, but still I have wandered away. I have tried to do things on my own. I have tried to live my life on my own. I said, no, I know what I need to do. What is my future? What is my plan? And I have not accepted your plan and purpose in my life. Lord, at this moment, we are sorry, Lord. Any other sin, Lord, show us, reveal to us, Holy Spirit of God. Any unforgiveness, anything that we have failed to do as a Christian, as a believer, we are called to love, accept people in our lives. Yes, Lord, I remember this missionary from Haiti. She chose to forgive. They were for two months in captivity with the uh, 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 with the uh, people who had captured them. And after that, when they managed to escape after two months, she said that God led me to forgive them. To forgive them. They were on mission. They were doing God's work. And they, still they were captured. And this young teenager, she was part of that mission. She said that I choose to forgive them. And I started to pray for them and their families that one day they will come to know Christ. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, this is, should be our attitude. The people who tortured them for almost two months, she chose to forgive. She chose to bless them, not only them, but their entire families. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, so let's take this beautiful hymn, Create in Me a Clean Heart. Let's ask the Lord to cleanse us and purify us with His most precious blood. And as the Holy Spirit shows us, He shows us our areas of sin, our weaknesses. Let's confess it. And tell, Lord, I'm sorry. We don't, we don't need to be shy. Our God, Father God loves us. We are like children. Anything that we do wrong, we just need to say, Father, I am sorry. Please forgive me. So let's take this beautiful hymn, Create in Me a Clean Heart, and ask the Lord to cleanse us and purify us. Lord, 
restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Yes, give me the joy of that salvation that once again I am back with you. I am your child. I am precious. You love me. You died for me on the cross. And nothing can take me away from your presence. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. Just imagine Jesus taking you once again back to the Father. He is holding your hands. He's saying, come. Come. You cannot stay away. I have paid that price for you. And you need to, you need to walk with me to the Father. The Father and I love you very much. And that is what is the fact, my dear brothers and sisters, that he has paid that price. So let us just ask the Holy Spirit once again. Ask the Holy Spirit to move within us. The Holy Spirit is there within us. He is there ministering to us. We have received him during baptism and we have said Holy Spirit to remain dormant. But let's ask the Holy Spirit to become active in our lives. Give him the first place. He is our advocate. He is our helper. He is our teacher. And we always need the helper. Just like in any other activity, we need a person to help us in our workplace, in our homes. We need a helper. And the Lord has given us that helper to walk in this Christian journey. He knows it's difficult. We cannot do it on our own. And he has given us the helper. So let's ask the Holy Spirit to rain down in our lives, to move within our lives to once again take that place in our lives which we desire to give him as we sing this beautiful hymn rain down holy spirit rain down Lord. Yes, Lord. Move in our lives. Lord, even as we choose to worship you right now, we ask you that your living waters flow within each one of us. When you walked the face of the earth, every person who came to you was healed, was delivered, was blessed. And tonight we sit in your presence, Lord. And we ask you that same healing and deliverance in our lives. Even as we choose to worship you, Lord, we choose to adore you from the bottom of our hearts. You work that 
thing in our life. Whatever is required, you know. Just like a father knows everything about the child. He knows in and out. We do not even need to ask. And the father understands. And tonight, we want to worship you, triune God. Minister to us as we worship you and adore you with this beautiful hymn, Living Waters. My dear brothers and sisters, let's open our hearts to the Lord. If there is any hurt area, anything that is disturbing us, anything that is in the past, in the present, any relationship problems, any other financial problems, job problems, any other things, what is going on in our life, let's open up to the Lord. The Father knows us. Just ask Him. Father God, minister to me. Make, make a way out for me. I desperately need your love, your presence, as we sing this beautiful hymn, Living Waters Flow Out. Living Waters Flow Out Cares and worries get me down Fear of failure fills my day When I'm lost and all alone Help me, Lord, to find a way People knocking Seeking love and pain Never let me turn them down Teach me gently how to share Children come into my life With their laughter and their song Come like that. Teach me, Lord, to sing along. Living waters flow on. Sweep away my pain. Bring your healing to my heart. Help me, love. Let's pause here for a while. Just worship the Lord. If there's any message for the group, you can speak it aloud. The Lord says, give me all your fears and take from me my faith. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, all that fears that we have of uncertainty of the future, give it to the Lord right now and trust in him, have faith in him that he has a beautiful plan for you in the future.
Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Glory you, Lord. to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Father. You. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Glory to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Over to Sister Catherine. 